Hello students, welcome to Easy Tonic. Today we make remote control water pump. Now start the project. First you open Tinkercad. After that you can search the component. First you search Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno, drag and drop here. Second search. Oh yeah, center. This is the IR sensor, 3 pin of IR sensor. Now we search remote, IR remote. This is IR remote. After that we search the component. Take two LEDs. One and two. Also take two resistors. One and two. And change the value of resistor. Click on the resistor and change the value to 30 ohm. Change kilo ohm to ohm. This resistor also change the value to 30 ohm. This is ohm. Now search motor for the water pump. This is the motor. We have to connect motor with relay. Automatic switch. Relay is like a automatic switch. And also search the supply. This is a supply. Sorry. This is a supply. Now connect the circuit. Also choose one breadboard. Or connect to LED. Put this LED. Yeah. Now connect the LED to the breadboard one and two. Also change the color of red to green. Click on the red LED and there is the option to change the color. There is a multicolor. You can select the green color. Also connect the resistor to the cathode pin. You can put the resistor in cathode and mode anyone. I have connected to the cathode pin. Now second thing we have connect to the GND of the Arduino. This is the GND. And also this resistor also connect to the ground. I have bypassed the current. Now connect to the anode pin of the LED. Anode pin connect to the connect to the five pin of LED, five pin of Arduino. Select yellow. And second we have connect to the four pin of Arduino. Now connect to the connect to the IR sensor. In the IR sensor, there are three pins: out pin, ground pin, and power pin. Power pin connect to the five volt of Arduino. Also connect to the five volt. This is the five volt. And also change the color of the second pin of ground. I have connected to the ground of the Arduino. This is the ground. You can also connect ground here also. Make a black color. And signal pin connect to the 7 pin of the Arduino. This is the 7 pin. Now. Now we connect the DC motor for the water pump. This is a motor and this is a relay. In between we have connect to the relay. Arduino give the signal to the relay and relay give the signal to the motor. Now connect the pin. Terminal 12 pin connect to the supply. 
terminal 12 pin connect to the supply. I have connected to the supply. The positive, then I will make a color red. And terminal 8 connect to the Arduino. I will connect to the 4 pin of Arduino, 3 pin of Arduino. Also make brown color. And terminal 5, terminal 6 connect to the motor. Means connect to the load. I have used I have using the load for motor and terminal number 5 connect to the ground of the Arduino. Not supply of the Arduino, connect to the ground of the Arduino. This is the ground of the supply. Not connect to the supply, connect to the ground of the Arduino. And also change color black. When we identify this is a ground pin. And second pin of motor connect to the negative of the supply. Negative of the supply. Now, circuit is connected. Circuit is completed. Click on the port section and go to the text. And paste the code here. Code link also given in description. You can download the code from the description. This is the code hash include remote dot hpp. This is a defined pin, three pin, four and five pin. Three and four for connect to the LED and five pin connect to the motor. And this is a condition. Now start simulate and also. When I click on the one button, then motor and green LED is on. When I click on two button, then motor and green LED off, only red LED is on. Now the motor, when red LED is on, motor is off. When green LED on, motor is on. And click on the serial monitor and read the value of one. When I press 1, then value is 1. When I press 2, value is 2. You can also make for the other button. For 3, you have to see the condition. 4, 5. Every button give the new value. Again, you can copy this code and paste in the Arduino IDE and make the hardware budget. You have to connect same like that. You have to buy CSOP sensor, CSOP sensor, there is also 3 pin, this is a CSOP sensor you can buy from online and make the project and complete your project. You can also make home automation by remote control. Today we have completed this project. If you have any problem, you can comment also. If you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon button. Then my next video will be receive you message. Thank you all friends.